Hi everyone, welcome back. Yes, today I want to talk about a tiny little boutique champagne called Nicolas Maillard. Now, the Maillard family been in the champagne business uh, since 1753. Nicolas is the ninth generation of the family. Now, Dad Maillard in 1965, because before they were just producing the grapes and selling it off to the highest bidders and to cooperatives. But in 1965, Dad Maillard decided that he wanted to produce his own champagne. And with the agreement of the cooperatives, that's what he did. And he produced about 50,000 bottles a year. Until 2003, when Nicola decided that he wanted to take this whole enterprise on himself. And he invested huge amounts of money in a winery, buying steel tanks and also wooden barrels, because they use both techniques. So blending the steel tanks uh, composition with the um, oak barrel composition, which makes it a very interesting combination. And quite a few boutique houses, even very famous ones, do that as well. They have about 18 hectares of land and they produce about 150,000 bottles. Six members are in the family and today we will talk about the Nicolas Maillard Platine Premier Cru Brut, which here in Belgium is available with Dercor Wines, which is www.dercor.be, and they are the exclusive agent of that champagne. You can find it pretty much everywhere else in the UK, in America, in Hong Kong, in the rest of Europe, and of course in France. So, uh, without any further waiting, let's go and discover Nicolas Maillard Champagne. So here we have our Nicolas Maillard uh, Platine Premier Cru Brut. Uh, um, so just looking at it, it has a very light golden color. It has a kind of very distinctive character, a presentation, the beads or the bubble, very fine and are lines, many lines, one after the other going up very well compact hold together which is always kind of a good sign of an idea of the work that is gone if you have the bigger the bubbles I think for me fine beads are always an indication of something good to come on the nose first without actually swirling it and get hazelnut to get marzipan um, but below that you get also a bit brioche, toasted brioche. And then below that, as well, I get very ripe fruits. I have a bit of peach and pears that predominantly come out over. There's a lot of things happening in this wine. It's very complex. It's good. There's lots of attention. As I said, this is made 80% Pinot Noir. 20% Chardonnay and out of that there's 30 to 40 percent of reserve wines that have been fermented in oak then it's um, a mixture between steel tank and oak and it brings a combination um, and a structure of a champagne very 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 attractive and very very interesting as I said champagne you don't spit them it's dry. It's not overblownly dry, but it's a good dry. There's only seven grams of sugar um, added to this one so liter. So it's really the bottom line of a brut that you can add seven till 14, 15, I think. Or grams, 15 grams of sugar. And it's dry, but it's elegant. It's soft. It's not aggressive, but it lingers on. I can still taste it. And it's really more pears and apples here than peach but it holds well together and it's fresh it has a very it's very seductive it's very it has a beautiful identity a persona mm. 
Very nice champagne. Very nice. Very nice. I give this without a doubt 17 and a half out of 20. And as you said, you can find it pretty much everywhere. Um, you have to look for it because it's, um, it's a very small production, so it's not going to be in abundance. But if you really want to discover a new champagne, something totally different, something with an identity, a personality and a character, then Nicolas Maillard is one of the champagne houses you should try out. It's not coming too overly expensive, I think. This is about in the 30 something, in the 30 pounds, you will find it. 40, 50 dollars maybe, um, euros, close to 40 euros I think. But it's, uh, it's worth a try. If you want to bring something different to the table, then this is something that you can do without any problem and it will definitely not disappoint. So uh, for me also first discovery and a very enjoyable discovery. So here in Belgium you can find it at Decor Wines. So www.decor.be. So as I said, 17 and a half out of 20. Beautiful wine, beautiful champagne. Because it's a first of wine before it comes to champagne. So I will definitely enjoy this. So until next time, please do drink responsibly. Okay? Bye.